This particular edition of Just a Minute is coming from the BBC venue at Potter Row in Edinburgh during the Edinburgh Festival Fringe. Uh, right, and um, Russell, first time player of the game, right? Yes. Oh, a very strong moment for you. And the subject we've chosen for you, Russell, we hope it's an easy one, castles. Tell us something about castles in just a minute, starting now. Well, we're in the city of Edinburgh where there is a very famous castle to which all the Americans immediately flock, stand outside with their cameras and go, I'm so Scottish right now. Am I pronouncing it correctly? <laughs> For me, the castle is a very loaded term. I grew up in a council road, and the castle was the nickname our neighbours gave to our house because my father dared to buy his own welfare property and extending it, turning it into a three-bedroom house. The thing that really pushed the pejorative term over the line was when we sunk a swimming pool into the back garden of our state-assisted home, therefore becoming... <laughs> on our estate, the only people <laughs> where my mum could get in from macros go, I'm a bit hot at the moment, I think I might have a swim. And it really annoyed the neighbours, and my dad's accent immediately changed. <laughs> and right, oh. Paul challenged. The repetition of dad. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Not that I've got issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did mention a dad earlier on. Oh. But you went for 47 seconds. That's not bad, bro. <laughs> Arthur, oh, lovely to see you. Nicholas, now, researchers have told me that you are 702 years old and for 690 of them, you've been doing just a minute. Exactly. And the only person who's older is Noah from the Ark. That's right. Yeah, well, you're coming up that way. Yes, that's right, yes. And you've done just a minute up here for years, actually, haven't you? Yes, we've been doing it for many years, but the show has been running for 44 years. Yeah. And can you believe this was the 807th performance we've done here today? That's that, darling. There's a message for me. Oh, yes. Can you get Russell to stop banging the table? <laughs> that, that banging comes over very badly on radio. They don't know what's happening. Okay. So if you could lean gently, my darling boy, and... Uh... <laughs> I might take my top man accessories off. Maybe they'll make you... No, <laughs> Just stop banging, that's yeah. all. <laughs> it's it's, it's generally so, good advice. You get so excited. <laughs> you bang the table when you get something right. Sorry. And uh, I got a message there to say stop it, and uh, you, you have. Thank you. Right. Uh, Paul, cleaning up my act, 60 seconds, starting now. Well, as Nicholas alludes to the fact I used to have an act, but that was way back in the 1980s. I haven't done stand-up for such a long time as I found it easy just to make things up off the top of my head on stage with other people. For example, just a minute. You don't have to clean up my act here because I'm aware that I'm appearing on Radio 4. There are certain words that cannot be broadcast. One of them used to be brand drift. Now we have a completely open <laughs> policy and we are allowed to say this as often as we like on this particular medium that we are now sharing amongst ourselves here. Am I going to pause for breath? I think I am. Do you know the most magnificent thing about appearing on Just a Minute and Clean Up? Oh, oh Russell, you, you, uh, you spotted it. First. Repetition of Just. Yeah, absolutely. No, Just a Minute, the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right, right. I'm just you, you, you Being just specific to the just, word. I've forgotten, what the subject, <laughs> I've forgotten what the subject was. I know. <laughs> Cleaning up my act. Yeah, I should have written it down, didn't I? Yes, yes. Right, Russell, you've got the subject, uh, and you've got 29 seconds still, cleaning up my act, starting now. It's often very difficult for me to clean up my act when I go on radio, for example, because I'm from Essex, a county in England that prides itself on swearing constantly and unnecessarily. Even while thinking where they were last week, people will swear just to feel... Oh, Shappy, yeah. what did it? You saw twice. Yes, yes swear. Was it swear and swearing? No. No. <laughs> Or is that a book by Jane Austen? <laughs> <laughs> he definitely repeated the word swear. Yes, I did. I was listening, uh, which is my job. And um, 15 seconds, Shappy, cleaning up my act, starting now. I often have to clean up my act at the Edinburgh Festival because people bring little children to my shows. I've often wondered why this is so. <coughs> Uh, Giles Challenge. A repetition of often. Often. Yes, yes, did right. I say often and then mispronounce it and say often? Because yes, I do did. that sometimes. I, I never know which is the correct one. I think it depends from where your background is. Iran. <laughs> 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 Sorry, shouldn't that be Iran? 